Oh my god, it's cold! Wow! <laughs> my hands! No. The weather is absolutely brutal. This is day three of our Perthshire journeys, our Perthshire exploration day. I found out that an Outlander filming location was very close to where we were staying, so thought I'd come and have a wee look. Looking for Craig Nadoon. The real Craig Nadoon. The filming location Craig Nadoon. The only thing is we woke up this morning and it was an absolute blizzard. It's minus five the temperature. It is absolutely Baltic. Not sure if you can hear me, it's like blowing an absolute hurricane here. Nonetheless, I'm coming out. I don't care. I'm braving the cold for you guys. Snow drifts on the road and everything. Been out the car for 10 seconds and already I cannot feel my hands. These are the sacrifices I make for this vlog. The famous standing stones of Craig Dune are right here. Oh, that is a stiff wind. I had no idea that this place was actually as remote as, as it is. It's really remote. And here we are. That is Craig Nadoon right there behind me. The place where they filmed the Standing Stones, the famous Standing Stones that Claire goes through, that Galus goes through, and that I predict Brianna will be about to go through in season four. They are filming here as we speak. I hope that the Standing Stones would be here, the plastic ones that they use for the film, but they're not. Anyway, let's go up and have a look. Honestly guys, I'm not joking you. The temperature is minus five, right? But the wind chill must be about minus 50. It's unbelievable. Wow. I can't even stand up against the wind. Woo. You see where they've dug up the ground for Outlander filming recently. Look, the tufts of grass there. The snow has been blasted up this tree here. But anyway, listen, I'm going to hide behind the tree. Oh, that's better, I'm hiding behind the tree. The wind is out my face. Ah, oh, we're here at Craig Dune. It is a wild adventure. I can't even feel my hands. Oh, I've not been this cold, I've not felt this cold for a very, very long time. Not even in Iceland. This is nuts. But anyway, we are here on sacred ground. Craig Nadoon. This is it, the hill. Where all the trees are, all the standing stones were here. If any of you guys don't know this, Craig Nadoon doesn't really exist. It's a fictional place created by Diana Gamble and the writer of Outlander. Based on standing stones, various standing stones that they have around Scotland, Inverness, the Western Isles, etc. But actually they use plastic stones from the studio that they come up here and they place. They are filming over the next week or two here. And I kind of hope that they would have left the stones so I could have filmed them. But anyway, Craig Nadoon, the wind is too ferocious. If I fly the drone today, I'll, I'll lose it. Anyway, it's cool to be here. You can see where they've dug up the ground for the Outlander filming just here behind me. The stubs of grass. Uh, Actually though, there are standing stones here. See them there?
Uh, I'm out of here, but before I go, should I take a wee souvenir for Craig Nadoon? I think I should. How about this wee pine cone? That'll do. Ah, I'm out of here. I just got back into the car. I am not joking, right? I have just spent the last five minutes screaming in agony in the car, trying to warm my fingers up. Like, I have not felt pain like that because of the cold for like such a long time. The temperature is actually minus one, but the wind chill must be, must be minus five, minus 10. Like it is unbelievable. And it's such a strong wind. It's snowing sideways. The snow's not even hitting the ground. It's just going sideways. Just before I came into the car and the reason my fingers got so cold I managed to get a few drone shots. I am astonished, staggered actually, that this thing stood up to that wind. Like, just to stay stationary, the thing was sideways like that against the wind. And it stayed its position, it held its course. That was amazing. Like, this thing, this is probably the best technology I've ever bought. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Anyway, I've seen Craig Nadoon the real filming location of Craig Nadoon, the place where they filmed all the Outlander Standing Stones scenes with Claire, with Jamie, with Galus, with Brianna in season four. In Scotland, we do have the right to roam, but we have to also be very respectful of property as well. At the same time, keeping gates closed that are farmland gates is very important. The little hill that Craig Nadoon stands on is actually a in farmyard property. I'm just thinking to myself though, Outlander, when they first decided to film Outlander, Craig Nadoon would have been one of the first locations they would have scouted, right? This road is a single track for miles, and I just drew through a lot of snow to get here. Like, it was quite dodgy at times. You're going to see on the way home. How did a researcher find this little hill there behind me to use as Craig Nadoon? I find that fascinating. All the big actors of Outlander have been there. The main stars. Claire, Jamie, Blackjack Randall. Has Blackjack Randall been there? Frank? Frank's been there. Yeah, Frank's been there. And now we're going to see probably Brianna and Roger as well. What a place. Anyway, I'm going to hit the road back to Edinburgh because the weather is set to close in in the next few hours. We're going to get some deep snow. I like that, but the drive here was precarious, you could say. Let's hit the road. <laughs> Alright guys, I am back home from that epic journey to Perthshire, to Craig Nadoon, the real Craig Nadoon. That was good fun. It was really fun to see another filming location, such a prominent filming location. Probably one of the most important filming locations in all of Outlander. You could argue there's so many important filming locations, like I have done in these vlogs before, I've been to a lot of them, but Craig Nadoon is absolutely one of the top ones. Um, and it was really great to go there. It's actually quite difficult to find online exactly where it was because it is on a private farm. It is a place that's very inconspicuous. Again, I think it's really difficult to understand how the researchers actually found that hill to say, right, this is going to be Craig Nadoon. But I actually went to the standing stones that really exist called Clava Cairns, which is where I believe Dana Gabaldon took her original inspiration for the idea behind Craig Nadoon, the standing stones. 
Those standing stones are just a few miles from the Culloden battlefield and they are awesome, really, really worthwhile checking out. Very eerie, very spiritual, just like what the Craig Nadoon, I'd imagine, would have felt like for Claire as she went through the stones, basically. But yeah, try and get yourself up to Claver Cairns. It is an awesome, awesome location up near Inverness. If you're in the Loch Rannoch region in Perthshire, try and find the, the hillside where they filmed Craig Nadoon and Standing Stones. But as I say, those stones don't actually exist. They bring stones from the studio and put them in place on that little hill for those scenes. I'm quite sad that I missed that filming session by a few days. So as I say, they were filming season four on Craig Nadoon hillside in Loch Rannoch literally just a few days ago and I missed it. You can see the fresh tufts of grass where they had dug up the location, obviously to put the standing stones in place. But wow, that weather up there was absolutely ferocious. Like, I have never been that cold in a long time. I'm not sure the chill is ever actually going to leave my body. I feel like my bones have been deep chilled and like I need to go for a sauna or something just to kind of get some heat back into me because it was absolutely freezing, freezing cold. But great place to check out. What a beautiful landscape that whole area is, Loch Rannoch. I think I would suggest though, if anybody wants to see a Craig Nadoon type of place and you don't have many days of travel in Scotland and you need to choose somewhere to go, I would suggest not actually going to that hillside in Perthshire that I went to today. As beautiful as that area is, I would suggest you actually go to the Standing Stones where Diana Gabaldon went and got her inspiration for Craig Nadoon. Another little bit of news for you. I am doing a bit of an Outlander challenge with a very good friend of mine. We Scottish lass, aka Moscow Moon, right? Great vlogger from Scotland. We've done a lot of videos together. Love her bits, right? But she's never watched Outlander. I couldn't believe it. She is, however, a very big Game of Thrones fan. I have never watched Game of Thrones. I kept saying to her, why have you not watched Outlander? It's all amazing, it's such an amazing series all about Scotland. She said, why have you never watched Game of Thrones? It's an amazing series. We kept arguing the point with no conclusion. So we thought rather than doing that, we should come together and do something, a bit of a challenge, right? So here's what's gonna happen. Moscow is going to watch Outlander, a whole season, the first season, and I'm gonna watch the whole first season of Game of Thrones. I've resisted doing it until now. I don't know why. I don't watch many series, to be honest. Outlander has a special place in my heart for all the reasons I've talked about in this vlog. Well, Game of Thrones has just been something that I've never been bothered with, but I'll do it because she's gonna watch Outlander, so I need to do this, I need to watch Game of Thrones. We're gonna do it, we're gonna each watch the first season of each series, and then we're gonna do a collaboration video in the near future where we take notes, where we discuss our feelings on the various series. We might not come to any conclusions about which is better, that's not what this is about, it's about comparing notes about two fans of two really great shows. If you are Game of Thrones fans as well, comments down below. I kind of feel like I'm cheating on Outlander. I kind of feel like I don't want Sam and Katrina, Diana, or any of the other Outlander crew to know about this. What do you guys think? Am I cheating on Outlander? If we put down the gauntlet, we're both going to do it and we're going to come together at the end of the first seasons. We're going to talk about it right here on our channels, her channel and mine. Should be a good laugh, one way or the other. What else is going on? Yes, Bonnie Box. I had a lot of feedback from you guys about Bonnie Box that it was kind of confusing that Bonnie Box was this gift box of Scottish Selection products that I put together and sent out and that now I'm selling other products on there as well. I took that advice, I listened to it. So what I decided to do, right, Bonnie Box is still going to exist, but I'm going to rebrand the shop that I've created where you can see a lot of my merchandise. I'm going to rename it Scotland the Great. And the reason I'm going to rename it Scotland the Great is Scotland the Great is already a Facebook group that I have that exists all about Scotland, celebrating Scotland. We've got a great community over there. It is a page that I've got on Facebook already. It is an Instagram account that I've already got. And I thought, why not use that and turn it into the shop as well? So scotlandthegreat.shop now exists. It's exactly the same as Bonnie Box, the same place, different URL, but the same layout of shop, the same products. Um, and Bonnie Box is going to exist as something on the shop. So you'll be able to find Bonnie Box right there on scotlandthegreat.shop. Check it out, go and see some of the products I've got up there, see if you like anything. I would love to know your thoughts on that as well, and please do join in the discussions that we've got going, Scotland the Great. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this wee tour. More tours coming up, I promise. I hope you have a great night, evening, morning, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care.